Yo, what's good, DCV? Um, glad to get another video back to you guys. The last video, we got a lot of, a lot of love. Um, thank you guys so much uh, for watching my video about Brownie James. Um, it, it caused a lot of discourse in the comment section, what I, which is what I love. I, I love talking about basketball. Um, that's all I do all day. Um, so uh, <laughs> it was it was interesting to get everybody's feedback. A lot of people are going to disagree. Um, see, some people say I, I lost credibility, different things like that. Hey, look, man, if I lost credibility, then everybody loses credibility because NBA GMs are speaking highly of Bronny James. Um, and I don't think they're willing to risk their family's livelihood just because um, he's LeBron's son um, and risk their credibility. So, hey, I mean, what do I know? Um, I'm just a high school basketball coach. I look at um, some of the best talent in the in the DMV um, pretty, pretty frequently because um, we play in one of the best leagues in the country. So um, I believe I trust my eyes. So, look. Um, and I've also watched over a hundred games of Brownie James, like that, and that that comes from watching AAU. His games are televised on Baller TV and um, Twitch, and then watching high school games on NFHS Net Network, which some of you guys in the comment section probably don't even know about. So, uh, before you question my credibility, put in the hours. All right, put in the hours. Watch his game, um, and watch the game. Watch basketball. Period, because you'll see that basketball players take different forms. K. Cunningham averaged less than 15 points a senior year. Um, when you're on a good team that plays a national schedule with multiple guys with star rankings on your team, the point totals are going to drop. Devin Booker, a lottery pick, averaged nine points a game. There's a You got to trust your eyes with some of this stuff. And this leads me perfectly into the video that we're actually about to go into. Um, uh, we're going to look at Elijah Arenas today. It's about time we start talking about him. It's really about time. He is, if not the most intriguing prospect in his class. He's 2026. 20, um, he's a sophomore right now. Um, this guy is the real deal, man. He's the real deal. I don't um, look. And, and this is and this is the thing. He's averaging he's averaging 36 points per game right now. Um, he's averaging a complete 30. He averaged 30 as a freshman. Um, but he's in a complete different situation, and the reason I bring it up is because the guy, the guy is in a the opposite situation of Bronny, and it's intentional. His dad wants him to be a more of a scorer, and that's that's who he is. Um, and he feels that he needs to develop. And Gilbert has came out himself, so I'm not, um, I'm paraphrasing, but I'm pretty much saying the point that he's making, which I completely. There's different strategies. Some guy like Bronny. Bronny's game fits more of it, what he did, which is to go to a competitive team and develop his niche, develop um, himself as a team ball player, and and then his scoring will will come over time with growth and development. Elijah was a natural scorer, so his dad threw him into the fire so he could play varsity his freshman year, um, which he would have played varsity his freshman year anywhere, but he wanted him to develop his own identity as a scorer, which I love. I love there's there's so many different sides of the token that you can use, um, but everybody people just need to be open minded. So yes, he he's playing a lot. He's playing a way worse talent than Bronny James, but that doesn't mean anything. It does not mean anything to me at least. And that doesn't when you see this guy play, he's six six. Yeah, he's he's super athletic. He gets after it defensively. People like the stick that stereotype on people who are good scorers, like, oh, they can't play defense. This kid plays defense. I've watched him over the summer as well when he was playing with Compton Magic. Um, high school games, I haven't watched too much of his. I watch highlights pretty much, but um, I watched games over this summer in the 3SSB um, circuit, and he, he gets after it defensively. He still, he competes. Um, and knowing who his dad is, I know he competes regardless. Um, but yeah, he averages 36 points per game right now. Um, he's got offers from all the schools in the country, um, all the main schools on the West Coast, Arizona, UCLA, Texas. Um, so he's that type of talent. Um, who know, I, I'm, I, He has Kansas as well. So I, I'm thinking he's going to go to Kansas, that Adidas connection. Um, I don't know how that's going to work NIL-wise. I don't know if he has any ties to Adidas. 
But that's what that's what my prediction is. I was right about Bronny James. Nobody, I, I didn't post that on here who I thought he was going to go to, but I thought USC, especially with the girl Juju going there, it just it it fit Nike. Um, now they they're collabing with Mom, but it's just it it fits. So Gilbert being an Adidas guy, I think Kansas fits, and that's a place that is going to allow him to thrive. Like he plays freshmen who are really good freshmen. So uh, they got a guy right now, Marco Jackson, who's um, a freshman who gets a lot of bump. Elijah's going to be that because he's he's literally a guy that can go in any gym right now, any gym, and dominate. Um, so I'm I'm super excited to, for you guys to see it because I don't know if any of you guys have seen him yet. Um, he's the truth. So. It's twin, twin. Mm. The report. His game is so pro. Like, and you can tell his dad's a pro. It's his pace. It's the pace. Like, little stuff like that. Like, and he's not even at his full strength yet. He's just a sophomore. So, as his body keeps developing, the game is just super easy for him, bro. Super easy. Shout out the ball is like. He's a, it's super easy. You can skip past it. You can see he's like the tallest kid on his team. Bounce is just easy. That's light. That's not even him really trying. Um, I like to see, I, I like to see a little bit more activity in the warm ups, um, but I think that comes from coaching culture. Like where I don't know what their coaches. I don't like people walking in. Some of my guys to be ready. Um, get a full blown sweat going before you. It's right away, bro. Right away. That's the first play of the game. Attack me. He is a. For a lack of a better word, he is a demon offensively, bro. Like, I'm, I'm serious. Like, that's a play right here. This is a play right here. Like, where are you, Elijah? Like, get down there. Get down there. Right here, he should already be in the paint. Getting ready to get a rebound. See, this is some things that when you're playing with lesser talent and you're not playing at a high-level school, you can develop some bad habits. And that's the thing that Bronny James doesn't have bad habits. He does not have bad habits. Now, I once Elijah, I think I, I really hope his next two years they put him out of school. Like, bro, he has a thousand points already. Um, like, just put him put him with great talent where he's, he's another piece. I think he still will stand out. But I would much like to see him go... Um, he had 37 points this game. So I would much like to see him, him play with some real talent and be forced to defend every possession. Like, look at this right here. Like, I'm not – this is not a slight. But, I like, dude, your activity level is very low right now. Everybody else is working. They're pretty much working hard but him. And this is where the bad habits can come from. Um, but he goes to, like, a program, like an Arizona Conference Prep, or even if he stays out L.A., goes to Sierra Canyon, Notre Dame, um, Modern Day, Harvard Westlake. Harvard Westlake's pretty good right now. They're ranked nationally. Um, you'll see him start to pick up better habits. He has bad habits right now just because it's just, a, just the atmosphere that he's in. But he developed his scoring talent, so now when he gets to – Play tougher. It doesn't matter who his competition. He's gonna score. I promise you that. Um, but it's the other things he's got to start to pick up. Now. He's got to be act active. Like get get over, get over, get over in the paint. Cut that paint off. He's got enough length to to get an opposite side. Still go box somebody. Go hit a body. Um, offensively, his activity level is so high. So defensively, I want to see. I want to see him be more active. Like he's not active. Right now. But look, he's going to hunt this shot and get a bucket. I promise you. He will get a bucket. Um, but you don't – it's – there's more to being you – don't, you don't want to be a pro that's labeled as just a, uh, just a score. We, I like two-day superstars. Um, mm, my gosh. It, it's too easy scoring-wise. It's too easy. He's too tall. And he, I don't even know what his wingspan is. His wingspan is like probably six, eight, six, ten. You know, I'll just get a little bit more balance on that finish right there.
every like his teammates are, are very active. It's just him right now. So I'm not even gonna say it's the culture. Um, I would just say, yeah, it's just the talent level is just not. It's not forcing him to be more dynamic in other ways. That's what that would be my my opinion. I could be wrong. That's what I see right now at this level. This is just too easy for him. He's like a he's like a a, 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 a eight year old that's reading on a ninth grader's level, and the work is just too easy for him. It's too easy. He's averaged thirty. He's averaging thirty two in his high school career. This is not the like. It's not it. He's got to. He has to go up a le another level next year. If you, if, if you ever hear this video. I really believe your son should be playing at a at a tough tougher competition. And honestly, like I don't even I wouldn't even want to see him at cause some of the Cali schools. I, I yeah, I, I would want to see him at a, a team that plays a national schedule. So whoever's playing a national schedule in Cali, maybe Prolific Prep. That's an Adidas school too. So hey, there you go with the ties. They got AJ Devansa. Um, and I, I'm, I think his name is Tyro Stokes. So two of the top. AJ, AJ DeBans have reclassed back up. So he's 2025. 20, um, and then Tyro Stokes, I think, is a sophomore. He's the number. He may be the number one sophomore. I think Elijah's the number one sophomore. I think he's the best player in his class. Um, and it has the potential to be. Um, but he's a number one pick, in my opinion. He's like one of those rare offensive talents that you can't miss out on. It's like a Kyrie Irving. Like he can play 11 games. And like, look at the ball. There's no ball pressure right here. Nobody's trying to dictate anything. It's, he's going to cook you. Look, he's going to cook you. He's just, he's literally, like, that's that's entirely too easy for him. He literally just dribbled around the court while everybody's still stationed. And people, are, people may be talking about him. I mean, he's the number four player in his class. So people are, colleges are definitely recognizing him. He plays in U.S., um, went to USA camp. So he knows, I'm, I'm telling you, I know he knows how to play high-level basketball. This is the matter of, I want to see it high school. Wise. Just because this is too easy for him. He's that good. And I love that Gil let him become himself as a scorer. Like, he, he's, he knows who he is. He knows who he is. He is a true two guard. Um, can probably dish it, but now it's time to get to a situation where he has to make the right basketball plays, and then still showcase his scoring ability. But he's forced to. Oh my gosh! And I and I guarantee you. I mean, you can see how well he shoots it. He's gonna. He he'll he'll be able to be a great spot up shooter. He'll get the same points. He'll score. He'll go to another program and score 15 to 20 points a game. Only reason it's going to be less is because you're sharing the ball. That's what we talk about with guys like Bronny James averaged 15 points his senior year, but it's like, yo, you're, there's other talent there. It's four stars. You know what I mean? So you gotta, you have to learn, no matter who you are, you're going to Kentucky. Like, they got Reed Shepard, DJ Wagner. Reed Shepard averaged more than DJ Wagner in high school. So um, Aaron Bradshaw. Um, Rob Dillingham, all these guys were dynamic scorers. Like, they all have to sacrifice. You'll see their scoring totals drop. It's just how it goes. And he has the, he has it on a string, too. The pass. Oh, my God. See, I know. Like, it's going to be so. I can't wait. I know Gil's going to do this. I know he's going to put him at a better program. It's just a matter of the right fit. Um, somebody's got to be trying to poach him. There's no way. There's no way. I'm prolific prep right now, and I'm not. And I know they got a strong Adidas ties. There's no way I'm not calling Gilbert Arenas' phone every week. Like, bro, we need your son. We need him. We need him. If not this year, next year. He has to come to prolific prep. See, it's a move for I, his, his dad's a Southern California guy, so I don't know how much he'll love that. But something's got to give. Chats were. All, all due respect to you guys. It'd be good for him, though. He'll be away from home a little bit, get him a little college type experience.
Just want to go over a few more little highlights of his. They're well in control of this game. That's good offense. It's good offense. Guys playing above that three point line, you send him back there. Anytime a guy is playing, if you face guarding you and he's above that three point line, you back there. I like that pass ahead. See, those are things. Those are things that translates. The little things right there. That pass ahead. Those are, that's a little thing. It gets your team a, a lot easier bucket versus you dribbling up the court. He knows how to play basketball. I can see it. I can see it. Mm, two, two, bank. Mm. That's easy money. That's a kid that works on his game consistently. Consistently. Mm. The ball man. This team not bad. Team not bad. They're significantly undersized. And the other one team has Elijah Rinks. He averages 36 points per game. Mm. And, and what I'm really impressed with is his ability to finish when he when there's contact. Like he's in the contact, though he's a, he's 180 pounds, he's clearly strong because the contact isn't knocking him off balance to where he, he quickly finds his balance after contact. So once he makes contact with the defender, he's he's able to get himself balanced enough to finish those shots. He's very good at that. And he can do that. He can make that floater. He's done it multiple times in his video. Excuse me. And this this guy's cooked. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Boy, we may have to that for a second. That's a tough bucket. We have to win this one back. And then for him to be able to handle it full court. I wanted to skip over what I was going to see. No, I don't think so. Yeah. Good on. Bye-bye. Hey. That's just him being more athletic than you right there. It's just too easy. It's too easy for the kid. Yeah, he's a great prospect, man. Um, I'm excited to see what his college choice will be. I'm excited to see um, him keep developing. I'm excited to see him go to another school because I know he will go to another school. There's no way he stays there for all four years. He's getting great bump with the Compton Magic, but AAU basketball is a lot different than high school basketball. AAU basketball, high school basketball, especially at a high level, coaches are watching. I know our coaches in our program watch over probably 12, 12 hours of film on each team at least. So, and spending that amount of time watching other teams, like that's what's happening to you in, in, at elite programs. Like you're going to, teams are scheming to stop you. Um, and, and some coaches, I'm, I'm sure at his school probably watch film, but it's going to be a lot more. But, but let's be real, the talent is going to match the film. So you're going to have guys like, say if, you're, say if you're at prolific prep and you're going versus Montbird or you're going versus um, PVI and the DMV. Um, you're going against Lou High and um, I think it's Long Island. So you're going against teams with your guys with VJ Edgecombe, Kyan Anthony, um, um, Cooper Flag, Asa Newell. Um, you know what I mean? So it's going to be a lot. It's a lot different. Arizona Conference Prep. You're going to be going against them. It's going to be teams that have what they got. Victorious Miller. Like there's going to be guards that are the same size as you. Plus they're watching film on you. So it's going to be a little bit more of a challenge. Like he's already conquered this level. It's it's done. He conquered it. So now let's see how he raises the raises the bar for his career. I'm really excited about him. Um, he was a pleasant surprise to see him grow. I saw I've seen him since he was like in the sixth grade, and you could already see it. But then it's like now he like you see the talent, that bro. You're averaging 35. What? Like, right. and I believe if uh, Bronny James goes to a school like that, he can do that. Maybe that should have been the approach Bron took. Like, hey, let's see you. Go get a go be the main guy for a team, but his dad chose the other option. Like, let me develop this way. So there's different paths of development, and even for you young guys out there, there's different paths. Like, it doesn't have to follow one specific, one specific, um, 
one specific pathway to get to where you want to get to. You can you can take different paths, and um, and the those are two two great examples. Two great examples: uh, professional athletes, kids, but one guy is choosing to go to score, like to develop his scoring first and then become a role player. And other guy chose to be a role player and hopefully he'll develop into a score at some point. And it's a, it, it's a, it's a, the, the Bronny James way gets you a lot more flack, but, um, but Elijah arena's way will get him some flack too. Cause people are going to be like, Oh, you're scoring against bro. Who can't like stop, stop. First of all, let's stop being hypercritical. Let's just give these kids credit for doing what they do at whatever levels they're doing. Brownie averaged 15 points per game as a senior. He didn't average a lot during his freshman, uh, sophomore year. He was injured. Freshman year, he was playing with two uh, two lottery picks um, or two first round picks, um, and then Amari Bailey, a second round pick, um, and yeah, and then some other four stars on the team. One went to TCU, one went to Howard. Um, so he's playing on a loaded team. So. Yeah, he didn't score a lot freshman year, uh, sophomore year with COVID, and he was injured um, junior year, had some injuries as well. Um, but, um, yeah, he didn't he, – his he still was playing with Amari Bailey. That was Amari Bailey's team. So, senior year, he got more of the shine. He was averaging 15 a game, but he was still playing with over four stars. He's playing with Isaiah Elohim, kid, Noah Williams, um, Bryce Cofield was there. Um, the team was still – that's still a good team. They didn't really have the greatest record in the world, but – um, and they lost some 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 tough games, but it's the, the everybody takes their own path. There's a reason NBA scouts are looking at Bronny, and there's a reason that scouts are going to be drooling over um, over Elijah Arenas. Elijah Arenas is this kid's he's he's one of them ones. He's one of them ones that like all right, man. Uh, he's going to get to the league. He needs one year of college. He may go to the G League, uh, depending on what Gil. I know Gil is going to be advised. Whatever decision Gil makes is going to be the right one. So if he goes to college or he goes to G League, it's gonna be the right one. That Gil is a you gotta you have and first of all, besides besides what the development path we're talking about, whatever path LeBron James chooses for his son and Gilbert Arenas chooses for his son, why are we opposed to listening to that and be deferring and being like, all right, I'm gonna go with that when we're all on the couch and <laughs> making videos about. Bronny James and Elijah Arenas are commenting in the sections with Twitter fingers like, oh, like let's let's defer to Bronny Bronny's dad and Elijah Elijah Arenas' dad to their development path. Um, but that's all I gotta say. We got some more videos coming up. I'm excited to get you guys some um, content. Um, I want to talk about some new things like DJ Wagner. Why is he not regarded as a lottery pick anymore? That confuses me because um, he's still like that. Um, but other than that, like I always say, guys, put God first, stack your bread.